Hello there Scorpios, welcome to your weekly reading. So um, I hope you like the, the deck that I'm using. Um, I really like this deck because of the, the imagery and also the colors. And uh, you choose to show up here in your love reading. This is the death card, it's the card of Scorpio. Um, it's front and center, so you know, and also being the major arcana and the only major arcana card in the entire spread. For the love reading anyways um, so the death card with this card what I feel is there is this major sense of regret um, regret for those of you who have recently gotten into a relationship with somebody and you're starting to feel emotionally very isolated so either the the other person is just not an emotional touchy feely you know type of a person or they're it seems like you're the one putting in a lot of the effort and, lo uh, and a lot of the work in order to move the relationship along. So it seems like very, very, not so much that it's one-sided, but I feel like you're not getting your emotional needs met, okay? So you're like this skeleton. It's going out looking for um, a place where it can grow. Everything is very barren in this card, even though the depiction of it is quite beautiful. The, the ground is barren. Things are not really nurture, being nurtured. Things are not really growing. And so for some of you, you might have recently broken up with somebody and you're feeling in this state. You're feeling like, I need to make a change. I need to stop looking uh, for love in the wrong places. Or there is an element of regret here as well with the Eight of, Cu uh, the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from a situation that's not serving you. But I also feel there's an element here about walking away from somebody that really was right for you, but you didn't know at the time that they were right for you. So you, you didn't value the relationship. And then when they're no longer in the picture, you start to see how barren and how unfulfilled life is without this person. So I feel like it's something that is um, very deep and very profound, like a, a deep rooted lesson or a very profound lesson that you're learning for this week where you feel as if things you know could have like like you you feel like you could have contributed to a situation or you feel like it didn't have to be this way why is it this way and then for others investing in a relationship that was wrong for you and doing so much of the work this is you know working hard rather than working smart putting in so much effort, carrying the entire weight of the relationship, trying to move it along against all odds. And you know, honestly, in relationships overall, just as a spiritual advice, if it's the right person, it doesn't need to be this hard. And if it's always, always, always so hard, it's probably not the right person. And so your advice is learning to drop this load when it becomes unbearable but i feel like you know you have a lot of resilience you're one of the strongest emotionally you're one of the strongest possibly physically too taurian people are very strong but the point is fixed signs you the taurus people the leo people and the aquarius people because you guys are so fixed Whenever you decided on a course of action, whether it be, you know, a love relationship, a job, a, a task, once you have decided against all odds, you're going to do it. And you do it not to prove to anybody that you can do it. You do it because personally, you see the merit in it. And I feel like you stayed in a relationship that was very, very burdensome. And it was very difficult and you did it and you 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 can say you know I accomplished that I would probably never do it again but I accomplished it but alongside this experience I feel like it taught you how strong you are right but at what cost it might have really strained your back it might have really broken you spiritually it might have really depleted your resources so it's like, yes, you are really strong and you've come to the realization that you're very, very strong. But I feel like there is this doggedness, like this, this dogged energy about 
I need to do it, even though it wasn't the right course of action. Because once again, if it's meant to be, it shouldn't be so difficult. And so if it's this difficult and you're straining your back and you're hurting yourself, trying to lift it, trying to move it, trying to move it along, and you're the only person on board and the other person is not doing their fair share of the work for whatever reason, we can, you know, lie to ourselves and say, oh, you know, they're, they're in school or, oh, they've fallen on some hard financial times. The reality of it is you're doing it on your own when it should be a partnership. And so learning to identify these patterns, why do I keep getting into these relationships where I'm the only one doing all the work and the other person's not taking initiative? Learning these patterns about, you know, am I being played for a fool? Am I being taken advantage of? I, I feel like it's going to be really crucial for you to really look at your relationships and your stance concerning relationships and you guys are so committed and devoted and a lot of the times you will give 100 percent to a relationship even if the other person might not be deserving of it okay so that's what i'm feeling here getting into a situation that you are regretting or have gotten into a situation where you are experiencing a lot of regret because you're dealing with somebody who is like this so we have here the Queen of Pentacles, uh, possibly an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But I'm not getting so much a person. I'm getting an energy of a person where they're like, you know, the, the damsel in distress or the person that's like, oh, can you do it for me? I don't really want to get my hands dirty. You know, like that type of a person, the, the self-entitled the types of people that kind of like bat their eyes or like bat their eyelashes and um, they get people to do things for them. I feel like the energy is very manipulative. And you know, no offense to this earth sign, it, it might not even be an earth sign, but the energy of this person is somebody that doesn't want to get their hands dirty. They see you as the one that will do everything for them. They see you as the hard worker. They see you as, you know, the, the one that's really committed. When you love, you love with your all. And so they feel, I, I feel like they're taking advantage of it. That's just the bottom line. So be careful for those of you who are out dating and, you know, you feel a little bit like this and you're you're trying to f um, fill that emotional void in your life and you might not be discriminate about who you are getting yourself involved with you might not be discriminate about who you're dating I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very attractive who's very beautiful male or female and they have a lot of abundance in their lives but they're kind of self-centered and they're not seeing your struggles so if this is a new relationship, it's really important for you to open up and, and you, I feel like they're frivolous with money. And so they're like, let's take a trip here. Let's go there. And you might not have the financial resources, but they, they don't know that. So you kind of need to communicate that. And if you tell them that and they run for the hills, you know, then um, who cares, right? Like just let them be out of the picture. But I also feel like you might be taken advantage of by somebody that you're very attracted to, somebody that seems like they're really good on paper, but the reality is I'm sensing you're putting in a lot of the work. If that is the case where there is a partner that's a little bit closed off and you're not able to get them to reciprocate, I feel like you're going to be moving on because I have here the Eight of Cups walking away. A situation that we have invested a lot of our time, our emotions, our resources in this relationship. And the hearts are all in the reverse. So they're, they're falling back down. It's like, I'm done with this. I can't do it anymore. It's not giving me the emotional fulfillment. And, you know, there's plenty of other fishes in the sea. So I'm going to cut my losses and I'm just going to be moving on and not looking back. And I feel like, you know, the moment that you decide, I'm done with you, I'm not going to be dealing with this relationship, they act all surprised. 
they're like, oh no, why would you do that? I thought the Scorpio would stick around, but I feel like you're done playing the games or you're done um, being taken advantage of. You're done and you know your worth and you know that this is a relationship that is very, very one-sided and it's not giving you that stability. And then when you decide to do that, guess what? They start coming back into the picture they start to confront you and they start to say like, oh, you know, it was all your fault, even though you were the one that put a lot of work in the relationship and they didn't reciprocate. And now that you decide to walk away and draw back your love and your, um, all your attention, like you're drawing back your energy, you're drawing back your love, you're pulling away from this. They decide to get confrontational. They decide to step up. They decide to, you know, attack you. So there's a lot to be said here about being very clear who you're getting yourself involved with and whether or not your true emotional needs are being met in a specific relationship. Because I feel like you guys have a lot of suitors. You guys have, you know, naturally... Uh, your aura is very strong, so you're going to attract a lot of um, relationship partners. But being, you know, that, that Scorpio energy can be very um, difficult to deal with because I feel like you're going to attract a lot of really intense relationship partners. Either they're very, very mentally, like um, very fixed in their ways, like they don't really budge. And you like that about them too. You like a little bit of character and spunk in your relationship partner. And this indicates to me character and spunk. This is somebody that won't back down from conflict. This is somebody that is, you know, uh, my way or the highway. And if you're dealing with that, you're trying to move on. And I feel like it's it's been challenging. Um, overall, for singles, not a great week to date. If you're encountering this uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who looks really good on paper, but I feel like, you know, deep down, they are very self-serving. You want to be careful because I feel like they're going to talk and then the things that they talk about reminds you of one of your exes that might have the same qualities or the same personality or the same traits. And that's kind of like signaling a warning for you guys so that you can kind of, um, you know, move the other way, okay? In other areas of your life, um, I feel almost like there's another sign that got the same cards and I can't remember. It might be Pisces. I think it might be Pisces, but it's one of the first four signs. So either Capricorn, Aquarius, or Pisces. I don't think it was Aquarius. But either way, they got the same cards, the lovers as well as the devil. Now, right off the bat, you know, this is not part of the love reading. But what I'm getting is the lovers is a partnership that can be like a, a, a crutch. There is a sense of obligation here. So um, the lovers is a business partnership. And it's linked up with the devil. So at first, it feels like there's security in it because there's another person sharing the risk with me, right? There's another person that is on board with me and there's another person that will shoulder the responsibilities with me. But you guys are Scorpios. You do not work well in partnerships because no one can bring to the table the level of intensity that you bring to the ta table. So it's like no one can match your dedication. No one can match your level of commitment and no one can match the amount of work that you do in a partnership so every time you find yourself getting into a partnership no one can match the work that you do and so it's always going to be codependent does that make sense i see a situation here that you need to free yourself from and i see that you're having difficulty seeing it for what it is and I feel like there is a sense of like loyalty or honor that is misplaced. So it's it's almost like I have I give you my word, I'm gonna, you know, stick it out, but it's proving to be difficult. It's proving to be more of an emotional crutch than a true partnership. And you want your way out, you want to make it on your own, you want to branch off and do other things. 
but you feel like you're being blocked by promises, honor, and loyalty, and you feel like you're bound to this situation when there's nothing really standing in your way. So seeing a situation for what it is is um, going to be very crucial for this week, okay? You have four major arcana cards coming out in this spread. And I feel like you're stuck in between. You're stuck in some type of a, like a, a feedback loop where you feel bound by honor and loyalty. But at the same time, this situation is, it's, it's very, very restrictive. It's keeping you stuck and it, it's giving you a false sense of security. And so the way to break away from this, all these restrictions and all of these fixed energies and all of these, you know, choices and decisions is for you to reach a state of enlightenment and for you to kind of start to see a situation for what it is. This is a card about moderation as well. So I definitely see some people dealing with um, drugs or alcohol issues and especially alcohol with the temperance card. Movement. Uh, being restricted because of um, drugs or alcohol. So make sure that, you know, if you are out driving, be careful about drinking and driving because this is a card about punishment as well. It's um, sort of like a warning from the universe. If you are out and about while intoxicated, you're going to be, your freedom of movement is going to be severely restricted. And then I also feel like you're dealing with someone whose movement is severely restricted because of other issues that they're dealing with, where they might be bound to a job for security, and uh, they're not able to break free from it. So they're really saying exercising patience, okay? Um, let me just see the devil. What is this in reference to? I have an air sign and a um, Pisces. So I have an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I have as well a Pisces person. So you might want to watch the Pisces uh, reading because I feel like they have the same card, okay? If you're dealing with a Pisces, you might want to watch that reading. Because I remember two of these cards fell out for one of the signs. Uh, you're walking straight into something, a situation where you don't have all the information in a situation where it's very confusing. Someone might be deceiving you when it comes to partnerships. Somebody could might, might be deceiving you when it comes to not giving you all the information that you need in order to make an informed decision. And I feel like you're rushing right into this. The moon deals with confusion. It deals with hidden information and it feels deals with like contracts where all the details are not laid out. So please be careful for this week. Um, I feel like what you see is not what you get. And I also see like, you know, with the four major arcana cards falling out of the deck, it's almost like, I, I feel like you have, you feel you have to do something because of a sense of obligation, but you don't have to do anything. If the information is not forthcoming, if the person is not forthcoming, and if you feel like I'm settling for this, mainly because there's nothing else in the picture, you don't need to settle. You just need to be patient. Something better is going to come along. All right. Um, not a great reading. It's um, it's a little bit heavy. So just take care of yourself. OK, and uh, I'll be back next week. Hopefully this energy will clear up and hopefully you will have more clarity uh, regarding the situation. All right. Take care, Scorpios. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.